Hey guys, RJ here. This is Red Premier League number 35. I'm so glad to be able to get back to commentating. Try and get as many commentaries through as I can while I'm in this good commentating mood. And this is the first one I've done. Red Premier League number 35. This video, guys, is Froy's debut, the man of the moment. This is our first team I'm seeing here. I've kind of put everyone in order of how much I like them and which I feel, feel like I'm going to play. Um, I'm going to switch them around, players like this and stuff like that basically. So this is the team that we'll be going up against Hall with. Now, before the game, um, two things happened. The first thing was I went to the press and I motivated Fry to hopefully make him perform well for his first game for the club and hopefully win over some of the fans and supporters and generally have a good start and get his head down um, well. And that was pretty much the goal I was going for with that first move. The second move was nothing to do with me. And it was, I was just totally out of control where Seth, Nana, a 4 2 and Massey, which gets easier every time you say it, um, got a torn car muscle, a calf muscle and was out for eight weeks, which is really disappointing. So with that news, I had to carry that on into the next game, along with the fact that a good keeper had been signed, which was, again, something promising but nevertheless I rejected him because I didn't think he was up to the right standard and I'm just totally contradicting myself but I am trying to keep up a certain standard within the team I don't want to be paying for people like I did with Eva who didn't perform so bearing a moment to the next game still playing um, the team that I st said out that I was going to play just with the um, transition of Goldson in right back instead of Seth Nana Tumasi, I'm just going to call him Nana, um, but yeah, so we went through quite early and grabbed a goal, but for our second, it was not until the 87th minute, but it was worth it, it's all the motivation, 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 obviously paid off as Fry scored, to not only give us a 2-0 win, but to also give himself a goal against the club. And with that goal, he went into the next game hoping to look for another one against Portsmouth. Now, in this game, I wasn't too happy at how things turned out. You'll see here that Goldson puts in two tackles, both, in my opinion, very good. And tackles that I think definitely wasn't worth a foul. The second one was the same as the first one, and the first one wasn't a foul. So why this one is a penalty, I have absolutely no idea. But we both know what's going to happen, guys. And as you can see there, they end up scoring, which is so disappointing to have to go down to a penalty. It's just one of them goals that's so lucky and so easy to concede to. But nevertheless, the second goal was all down to me messing up. I just couldn't seem to get the ball off their player. And although in the 52nd minute, you'll see that I went through with Davis, one of my youth players here, guys. I couldn't grab this game back and I ended up losing this game 2-1. I was quite disappointed at this being we had so many chances, which I know I haven't shown guys, but nevertheless, you've got to have to take my word for it. We had so many chances, Everyone, a lot of players played well, if not everyone. And one of these players was Sam Davis. You can see on this screen here, guys, he said he's really enjoying his football and he really wants to play the next game. But with him playing the next game, it doesn't have any input as we end up losing to Middlesbrough, which again was a gutting result. So from there, the team needed something. I couldn't add anyone else because transfer window has ended. So I decided to unnerve Mick McCarthy and hopefully seeing if that move would pay off for us in the game against Wolves. To be honest, guys, it didn't at all. And you'll see here that we ended up losing again 2-1. We evened it up at one point, but nevertheless, we didn't have enough motivation in the team to go on and win it. So the next game, again, a game I looked forward to, to be able to win and to be able to play. And it was against Southampton. It was a week away. It did mean that a lot of the players could rest ready for the game. But as you'll see in a second, guys, we end up losing that game to cap off this episode. Thanks for watching, as always, guys. I really appreciate your views, like.